This is Ethan Bond here with the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh after their loss to Rowan in the 2024 uh, Division Three Women's College World Series. I want to congratulate all of y'all again on making it to the tournament. That is a huge achievement. Head coach Scott Byer along with Zoe Malone, Hannah Ritter, and Brianna Davis. Uh, coach Byer, going to you first, your thoughts on the tournament and the season. Yeah, I thought uh, great run tournament. Um, ETBU is a great host. It was, it was awesome. Um, a great experience for us. And... Uh, you know, having these guys be here uh, in 2021 when we were here and, and now this year, I think they would say the same thing, that uh, this is a great experience for everybody and uh, we're happy to be here and uh, win a game. And you know, it was a tough loss today, but we don't need to focus on that. These kids are here to uh, represent us. So um, I'll turn it over to them. Zoe, Hannah, and Brianna, going to all of y'all. Um, so your last year with the team, y'all have had great collegiate softball careers. Uh, just talk a bit about your career and what this team has meant to you. <laughs> okay. um, I think for me, it was definitely um, a big change. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm 10 hours away, and you know, making that decision, um, I wanted a different experience, and I wanted to, you know, experience a different part of, you know, the uh, United States and that sort of thing. And you know, Oshkosh just had everything for me, from you know, the academics to the softball. And coming into Oshkosh, I really didn't know what to expect, and to play the, at the level that we did has truly been just remarkable. You know, everybody can say that they've been to two Women's College World Series or anything like that, and, you know, to watch myself grow as a person, but also the, the people around me, it has truly been just my biggest honor to be called a Titan and to be a part of this team, and, you know, my role's changed a lot from the time I was a freshman to now, and, you know, I'm a senior and I had a little bit of a different role this year, but to watch what this team has done on the field was truly one of the most special things that I have ever got to witness, you know, the grit, the competitiveness, the way that, you know, we genuinely cared for each other and everybody was happy for each other. Everybody wanted everyone to do well. And, you know, you don't get a lot of teams like that. And to be a part of that was just truly, truly just so special. Yeah, um, I guess we'll go down the line. <laughs> um, I can't believe it's been five years. Um, this team was super special, not because of the record that we have or how many wins versus how many losses. It's just um, I've never felt so much support in one room before. Um, I knew if I had a 4 for 4 day or an 0 for 4 day, um, those girls still care about me so much and would have my back regardless. Um, and like Zoe said, that's that's something that's hard to find. And I love everybody on this roster um, and it sucks that we're done but um, I wouldn't want to last year with any other group of girls. Yeah just like uh, Hannah and Zoe said this team was special. It, practices were fun, hanging out with each other was fun and we got to do it while playing a game we also love which was awesome but there's like no other people I'd want to spend my last year with either and I'm so glad that we were able to make the trip here and just spend more time together than we, we thought we were going to and yeah, we made the most of it, I think. Uh, Zoe and Hannah, you were both here in 2021 when you guys last made the World Series. What message do you have, not just for your underclassmen teammates, but girls, elementary, middle school, high school that want to compete at this level? Oh, awesome. <laughs> um, I think just to, like, a why not mindset. Um, we talked a lot this year about why not us. Um, and I think that goes for girls playing still playing in Oshkosh and at every age. Um, try new things, see what works for you. Um, you know, just because you're not a starter when you're eight doesn't mean that the world ends for you there. Um, so try new things, find your thing, and um, compete till you can't anymore because it went by super quick. Um, cherish every second of it. I know that's hard to put that perspective on when you're, you know, 12 or even a freshman in college, um, but it goes by super quick, and you don't want to look back and feel like you didn't put 100% into that. I think all of that, plus just embracing the journey and the process. Um, every day when you're playing softball is a grind, and you know you gotta love it to really embody everything that softball is. And I know now that I'm done, like I, I loved every part of the process and. Some days were hard, some days were, you know, a little bit less hard, but 
it was really, really just awesome to get to experience that and embracing every part of it, whether that be, you know, your practices or your team lifts or even something as silly as staying in a hotel room with a teammate, you know. It comes to a close quicker than you think, um, but to embrace that journey and to enjoy every second made my career so much more enjoyable. Um, so I think my advice to all the softball players out there is, like I said, embrace the journey, attack every day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind, and just play all in all the time and take it one pitch at a time. And this is one for Coach Byer quick. What does it mean to have these three seniors sitting at this table with you and the amount of work that they've put into this program over the last years? Yeah, I mean, I think the the product on the field speaks for itself. Um, the, the work that these guys put in that nobody sees is is special. Um, it's a special group uh, based on they really want success for each other. Um, and I think the rest of our team just basically follows what they do. Um, I can't even put into words what they've meant to our program over the years um, and the leadership that they've showed, the, the growth. Um, from 2020, 2021 till now um, is incredible. And, uh, you know, Bree being a junior and graduating early um, has really fit into that role of being a leader as a younger person. Um, Hannah and Zoe have been incredible mentors for everybody else on our team. Um, whether they know it or not, our team looks up to them and they set the standards for a lot of things that they probably don't even know that will continue on um, for the next few years beyond them and hopefully pass down um, for years to come. Uh, so, I mean, this group is special is the right word. I can't put your, you can't put your finger on what exactly it makes us special, but uh, I've never been around a group of kids that were pulling the same rope in the same direction 100% of the time. And this is, uh, this is a team I'll never forget um, because of these three and the rest of the uh, seniors. Um, that class is going to be um, forever in our history, and, and I'm going to remember them when I'm talking about stuff in five years about you remember these kids, you remember what we did this, you know, this year, this is why we did it, and it's going to be because of what they've done for sure. Well, once again, thanks so much for talking to us, and congrats for making it this far. Thank you. Thank you.